terms of in terms of British culture, yeah. the Cornetto trilogy. Oh god, go! It's the greatest film trilogy. I don't care. Start though. No, fuck off, Star Wars. This is the greatest film trilogy Beautiful. of all time because it's the only film trilogy I can think of where each one is a good film. I, I would watch each film. Angelic. Like, yes, I have my favourites, but yeah. none of those films are bad. None of them. Oh, I fuck. There, there's, oh, go on. I'm gonna put you on the spot You're here. To, to rank them. Rank them. Shaun of the Dead is last, I'm afraid. The, these two are difficult. I think it'd have to be... Oh, shit. I think, for me, it'd have to be Hot Fuzz, then World's End, which is a shambles, I know. Really? World's End best? I don't know why. It just... Do I'm a sucker for, like... People who haven't seen each other in ages getting back together, mm. like getting like that's why I love like, the the Muppet, like getting the old bad. Like, I love that sort of thing. So that just sort of is quite fun. I think that I think the cast is quite is like mm. you've got a lot of bangers in, in that like in in the world's end. Weirdly enough, I think our lists are different, but that for me is the way you can least offensively differ from my list. Okay. Because I agree that Shaun of the Dead, it's whilst the still being a 9 out of 10, it's the is the three. weakest. Uh, and I would say, because obviously that, uh, I would probably, I, I think Hot Bars has to be the best, but those films are so close in my mind it, that for you to swap yeah. them is, you know, I don't care. Yeah, like Hot Fuzz is iconic. Like, it, it's, it's probably the most iconic of them. But if you, if you said you can only watch yeah. one now, I'd probably choose World's End just because I, yeah. I'd probably I say what like takes it. it for me is, if, if, if you could say you could only watch one Cornetto trilogy film this year, oh, I'm going fuck. World's End. If you're going, like, like one time, okay. if you're going, you've only got one film for the year, I'd go Hot Fuzz because oh, that's I the think, most I rewatchable. Think that's a different, yeah, I think that's a completely different question. Because, I, yeah, I don't, yeah, I think if it's the most rewatchable, yeah, I think Hot Fuzz is probably the most. People, but yeah, I think my favourite. Well, I think has you, to be. yeah, yeah. You could. I, th I think they're different questions. Yeah. In terms of you could like your favourite and the most it's rewatchable well, most is yeah. different. Oh, we, we need to do that. We'll just so watch get three of them. and just watch yeah. all three in the row. Uh, quick shout out to I, I'm not gonna because Scott Pilgrim vs the World is all right. Uh, Last night in Soho. Um, we're talking about Edgar Wright films. Yeah. Um, was was pretty good, but not near the quality of the Cornetto trilogy. I think Baby Driver is better than uh, Shaun of the Dead. Baby Driver is really Baby good. Baby Driver is really fucking funny. quality. No, really good. And also, just like to be fair, uh, especially last night in Soho, where he goes into like, the a bit more of the horror genre. Those two films, along with the Cornetto trilogy, show just how strong Edgar Wright's directing and yeah. his style is. That he can take himself and his style to these films, the idea that we could have had Ant-Man directed by Edgar Wright. That would be mental. Because there's a brilliant quote where it was like, like Edgar Wright wanted to make like an Ant-Man film, but Marvel didn't want to make an Edgar Wright film. Right, okay. Marvel weren't willing to just like- Give Edgar Wright. Give Edgar Wright, like, like make it, make it as Edgar Wright as it should have been. And I think an Edgar Wright version of Ant-Man- That would be, I'd love it. I'm it would. Lie. It would. I don't think Edgar Wright would be willing to do it. Do, do all the sequels. No. But just to like. But, so, so it might ruin the character going forward. But a one-off one Edgar one Wright Ant Man film would be fucking hysterical. Creme de la creme. Uh, while we're on that sort of, cause it's not a conversation. I don't think. It's, but Paul, what are your opinions on Paul? Paul's funny. It's 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 it, it's weaker for me, it's than. Okay. That's it, that's where I stand on Paul. Is it's okay. I think. <sighs> I mean, I don't want to say anything against Nick Frost because the writing teams for like, so for the Cornetto trilogy, it was um, Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg mm. that wrote it. For Paul, it was Simon Pegg and Nick, Nick Frost yeah. that wrote it. And I think it's all very funny. I think Simon Pegg's a very good writer. I'm a bit of a Star Trek nerd and he wrote the, th the third Star Trek film in the new trilogy. I thought that's quite good. Nick Frost is a very funny actor and I don't think he's awful at writing, but some some of the bits you can tell you'd have wanted Edgar to have helped yeah, with like, a bit. Some of the gags in it just aren't for me. Like some of the jokes in it don't hit with me really and it, I just find it a bit... And it's, I, I find it a bit irritating because I'd love to give Edgar a decent bit of budget. Yeah. To like give to give his films like a proper bit of money like behind them like, like Marvel should have done with Ant-Man because that's I, I think that looks like the films obviously you've got a whole CGI like character and you've got like 
bit of bigger actors like fucking Kristen Wiig shows up. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's like I think if, if that if that because that film looks like it had like the most budget compared to like, the Cornetto trilogy. Obviously, those those films don't need don't a big need, budget. Yeah. But you'd love to see what Edgar Wright could do with that sort of film or that sort of budget. Yeah. Or... Just get Edgar Wright. Get him to do a Muppets film. Can you imagine? No. no Can that, you imagine? That mix would not work. I be sh I rate Edgar Wright a lot. I don't think I'd he be could. curious to. What, no, I'd just be curious to see what he does. Yeah, I'd be curious. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a good film at all. I think it'd be quite good, funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, it, it, it could work. Definitely good funnies.